the bonding paste hasn't gone off. We'll get the right ratio this time. Think so, to me. And it's looking a lot better. Wow, okay, so we have a semi-clean boat. Morning guys, back on the boat this morning. So last time we came in and replaced our old balsa core with these foam core panels. But unfortunately, we've had a bit of a problem. This panel here, the bonding paste hasn't gone off. You can see inside here, there you go. You can see the bonding paste actually didn't go off. And, and we've discovered that our scales that we were using, unfortunately, uh, were broken and inaccurate. So what we've done is we've had a new set of scales delivered. So we're going to have to come in. Luckily, this is still sort of quite rubbery, so we can just peel this off. The other two panels, absolutely fine. They've gone brown and they're solid. So I think it was just a wrong ratio of catalyst on this piece. So yeah, well, that's just unfortunate, but we can fix that. So we'll get this scraped off, get this panel down here scraped off as well and we'll get some new bonding paste mixed up and we'll get that fixed in to position. So Rich is just mixing up some more bonding paste and we've got some new scales, which we can actually see on the display on these. We can. Yeah, yeah no, I've already got them dirty as well. <laughs> so hopefully those. we'll get the right ratio this time. That's out, so eh? Okay, so just on the back of the boat and having a look at this side step where we put the thickened gel coat on the leading edge here. So I'm just going to get a block. I'm going to block this with some uh, 240 grit sandpaper. And then I think we'll also just take this off and take this off and also get all this blocked as well, just to tidy that up a bit and see how that looks. <laughs>
Okay, so I've had about an hour and a half on this now with a 240 grit sandpaper and it's looking a lot better than it did before. Still got a few little defects in the gel coat, so we've got some little craters over here and a couple of little craters over here and just rub through the gel coat there. So I think what we'll do is just put a little bit more thickened gel coat in here and a little bit of gel coat over here. But overall, it's looking pretty good. Colour match, I'd probably give it an eight or a nine out of 10. It's pretty close. I think if we were doing it again, we'd probably just tint it slightly, uh, but we're learning as we go with this one. But yeah, happy with this. And it's gonna be covered anyway. This will have uh, teak or synthetic decking down the side here, and that'll wrap over this leading edge. So this is all gonna be hidden, but we do want it to be right. So that's the second coat of thick and gel coat on so we'll just leave that to set up now so i'm going to go to the front of the boat and have a look at some of the gel coat repairs there and get those flattened off and ready for polishing Okay, so just on the front of the boat now, so we're going to just have a look at the spot repairs that we did. So we'll, again, hit these with a 240 grit and uh, flat these right off. And then while I'm doing that, which is just gonna lift this last piece of deck on the front here. Okay guys, so we just come in and got rid of this last piece of teak decking that was stuck down really well. But we managed to get rid of that, so we're just gonna clean that now. And in fact, we're gonna clean the whole side deck all the way down that side, ready for our uh, gel coat repairs where we've got all the screws. We're just gonna clean it all, and then we'll be able to pull those screws out next time and get those repaired. And I've also just come in and sanded all of these gel coat repairs here. So if you remember from the last video, we left like a a little dome or bubble on it so I've just flattered that off I think there's about six holes across the front here now and I can barely see them I'm struggling to find them the only one is just this one here that when the camera picks that one that's got a bit of an outline 
but that's fine. What we'll do is when we've done the other gel coat repairs, if there's anywhere we need to come in again, we'll just grind that out and we'll spot that again and we'll get rid of that little halo or outline. And I've gone along all the side deck and sanded the tops of all of those all the way down there. So they've all been flattered off now and ready for polishing. But it also means now we can clean this deck as well, which would be great. Um, so then we'll be ready for polishing. Okay, so we have a semi-clean boat on one side anyway. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit of weather coming in, some rain due any minute. So we are just packing up now. We didn't quite get to finish the front part of the hull, but we were able to get this side. We just very carefully put the ladders onto the rubbing straight there. So to be careful not to damage the gel coat and then just give this a quick wash over. And that looks really nice now to get rid of all of that green. And we also got the top deck cleaned as well. So that means we can come in and do those gel coat repairs and fill all those holes on this side. So I'll just show you that quickly. Yep, so here's the side decks. So this is looking a lot better now. Nice and white, still got some sealant to get up, but yes, looking a lot better. So we can repair these holes now in the deck, clean those out, drill them out and drop some thickened epoxy in. And we also just cleaned a little bit of the front deck here as well. We'll do the other side another day, but yes, looking really, really good. Okay, it is the end of the day, so that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.